Okay, so hi everyone. Um, I'm in a Starbucks, uh, so I'm talking kind of quietly, but I think you can hear me. And um, what I want to do is I want to make do a little bit of work on the bouncy house game to make the bouncy ball. So what you have to do is you want to make a class, a new class. You can call it bouncy ball. Okay. Um, Orange. So it's an orange ball. Um, I'm going to go like this and finish it. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me a class. It looks like this. Okay. Um, inside a class, you carry data that the class can see. You have to have a constructor. Okay. You can have several of them. Okay. Um, and you want to have class methods. So, in terms of data, very quickly, I'm going to carry an int to the x location of the ball and the y location of the ball. We also want to carry an int for um, like the speed, two speed variables. We're going to have one called dx and dy, and well, it can be integers. Okay. We also want to know um, something about the ball size. We're going to carry b uh, width and b height. Okay, and that'll tell us how big the you know the size of the ball. You know, big balls and like small balls and like you know like weirdly shaped things and stuff like that, like Christmas ornaments and stuff like that could be could be possible. Um, and what I'm going to do too is I'm going to carry like a color for the ball. So I'm going to this like a b color. Um, variable, and that's pretty good for what we want right now. There's an error right here um, because we haven't um, organized the imports to get the color um, class involved with our uh, thing. So here comes class, and that's good. Okay, so that's what we want to do, and that seems pretty good for us um, right now. So, um, also, it might be allowed here, so. Uh, we're going to make a constructor. So the constructor looks like this. It's public. Um, bouncing ball. Okay, and what I also want to do is actually I want the ball to know um, we have some attachment to the, um, the, the ball house that it's on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it. Um, I'm going to make a variable up here. Okay. And so it's going to like be related to a house. Something like that. And I'm going to go like this. And. Um, It's gotta be like that. Time in there. Bouncy Hounds Bouncy Hounds game. I'm oh, sorry. I want to get to the game. Okay. okay. And this is gonna be uh, Bouncy Hounds game. Okay. So. BHG or something like that. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to store that variable. G. So in case we want to find out some things about this, um, that would be great. Okay. So um that be we want to do that. Okay. okay. So we want to do that. Um we would like, um, let's see, let's automatically just make this like be a, like, uh, uh, I don't know, we'll make it like be right now at its sort of arbitrary places so we just get to show up. So we're like a 50, can do that, 50. Let's put some numbers in here. Um, the ball width, like a, this is your choice on how big the, 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 the little dot should be. I'm going to make them like 50. B, I can do like 50. And uh, let's give it a color. There we go. Uh, B, color. 
is going to equal new color. And then um, I can pick sort of random colors like this. Yeah, it's coming. And then just do that for like this is for red, this is for green, and this is for blue. Okay, and that works pretty good. Uh, okay, except I gotta do this, I have to do this, I have to do that. Okay, so that gets me that. So so this will make a ball sort of at this one place. We're gonna change this a lot. We like to know. You know, put them in different places and things like that. But right now, let's just get one to show up. Okay. Um, this sort of makes it. I have a link to the game itself, okay, which is great. Um, and I have basically. Uh, oh, we should give it like a speed too. Um, let's give it like a dx. Let's give it a random number between, say. Yeah. Um, I say like 40. Okay, so we can go anywhere from 0 to 40. And same for D1. That's going to give me some random numbers. That's good. But I also want the speed to maybe go negative too. So I might do something like this. Is like a generator number between 1 and 20, and if that's less than 50, then I'm going to kind of flip the dx and make it negative, so it'll like have a negative speed when it runs. Okay. Um, and this is how you do that. And then I might do the same thing for the other one, too. So this is the so the speeds can be either positive or negative from basically zero to four. Then to finish this off, the um, the ball needs to do two things. It needs to draw itself and it needs to move itself. And so we're gonna make these two um, functions to do that. So I'm gonna say public for uh, me me like that, and I'm going to say public void job, like that, okay. and draw me gets this graphics element so I can actually draw, so I say graphics, okay, okay. move me, uh, graphics is going to give you an error here because it, you need to organize the imports for it, and get that, okay. So movie is actually easy because what you're going to do is you're just going to change the x look and y look. Change the y look like this by just adding whatever the dy and dx are. So there's a dx here, and this is like dy. And that will move the that moves the um, that moves the the, the, the the sprite. It won't move right now, but it's going to move in a second. And another thing we're going to do too is we're going to draw it. So we have to go G dot set color. 
to the color of whatever you have here, which is going to be B color. Okay. And then you're going to go like this. You're going to go G dot um, fill oval. And then we're going to go X loop, Y loop, um, B width, and B uh, height. Okay. And that's all you need for this class. So if you get that built tonight, that would be great. And we can work with it tomorrow. Okay. Thanks.